we are uh, interviewing uh, Mrs. Amir. She is the uh, chair of the uh, Ministry of U Education Department in Hebron. And uh, uh, hello. Hello. I would like to ask you about uh, the school uh, went uh, through lots of stages of troubles and uh, violence and resistance and all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a bit uh, calm now. What is your hope for the future? Now, as you see, this is the history of as the history of this school. It is something you know uh, extraordinary. What's going on now? Because at the beginning, it was so difficult to have the children come to school. It was so difficult to uh, to have them go and come back from school safe because of the settlers being around the school. Now, because we have headmistresses uh, at the beginning or school principals, they all fighted all the way through with the settlers, with the Israeli army, so as to have have this school going on in this way. We started with a small number of uh, students, now we have uh, around 150 students and this is something uh, I think it's extraordinary. Now we, ca we have uh, a lot of uh, rehabilitation in lots of buildings uh, around the school and we have all the activities done as, uh, as if it is uh, any uh, school in our directorate. This school and we have another two schools being near the settlements or near uh, any uh, Israeli positions, it makes it it's uh, not easy for us to, to direct it from our offices, but because we have the staff going on here, because we have the friends of this, these schools, friends from the uh, society, friends from the, uh, those, the fathers and the mothers of the students, we have this school going on. Now I think uh, because we have this uh, activity today, it is activity for the health of the students so as to eat something useful, healthy, uh, so as to go on through the day, all the day through, with something useful, not, not necessary meat, it is something, you know, with lentils and rice, and they have onions, they have salad, and this is something good for the students. But uh, I, I think that by having these activities, we'll, we'll have all the people around the school connected to the school, and they will feel responsible for protecting it from all, everything that's going to harm it in the future. So that's why I think all these activities are useful, and I think in the future, we we can have lots of activities. Seeing the flag is a something extraordinary all the time. Having the, uh, the anthem uh, is something also uh, extraordinary. People uh, uh, having the, uh, uh, singing the song of uh, our flag, of our country, uh, putting all these uh, uh, slogans about, the, about Palestine, about uh, having a state, this is something extraordinary. So I think that we are going to something more brightening in the future. I think the future is, is smiling to us and I hope that we'll have our state and we'll be a Palestinian state really in the future. Inshallah, I hope so. Uh, <coughs> what about 21st, we are going to the United Nations to clear Palestinian state. Mm -hmm. uh, are you prepared for, uh, we don't know what is the, uh, the reaction of the settlers in this area? Now I know that they are, you know, they, all the time we have the settlers and the Israeli armies around us and they all, all the time, they, you know, they keep uh, um, uh, har harassing us so that we can do something in return. Now I think they, 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 this is what they want us to do. And we are, uh, you know, we, we know about this uh, idea that they have it. So we're going that day, we're going to stand to say that we are with our uh, Palestinian authorities we are with this resolution, we need a Palestinian state, but we're not going to do anything with violence. We're just going to stand there in peace, holding our flags and our slogans, and we're not going to, to get in touch with them, even if they try to harass us. And this is, this is something uh, we all agreed upon from uh, two weeks ago, and it was you know, strengthened yesterday, and I'm going to have all the children above the sixth grade going to uh, to the street and Sara in front of Al Hussein, and I think that all of them will be f standing there with their slogans, with their flags, and th they just want to, st to to stay in peace and say we need our state. That's it, nothing else. Um, there was lots of. Uh 
headmistress before with experience, but we have one, she's new, and uh, I think she heard about what, uh, what was in the past, but what is, do you have a message to, uh, to send it to the community or to ask the people around us to, to do? No, Mrs. Tissam, she's not new. She was a, she, no, no, she was a school principal in, in, a, in a place. It was a little bit difficult with the community. Now she has the, uh, the community with her, and I think that they all should stand with her, be fr uh, friendly to her, help her whenever she, she needs the help, protect the students and the, the teachers and the school principal, and I think that she'll do well, because she was experienced from before. So uh, we need all our hands to be with her all the time. We need to, uh, to give her our uh, full support and to give her all our uh, greetings, because what she's doing is something heroic. You know, coming to Qurtuba is not something uh, as any school principal. You need something, someone who's, who's uh, considered to be a hero. And you can see that your mother, she was one of them. You, you need to fight all the time. You need to be aggressive sometimes. You need to, uh, to put uh, your camera in your uh, handbag so that you can focus on what's going on all the time. And this needs someone who has strong personality. If you have the strong personality, you can deal with what Whatever happens around you. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Great. Um, I spoke to Mrs. Ibtisam and she has amazing ideas and uh, I love them. Um, do you think it's a good idea to ask the um, a local organization to help in materials and something to support the school by painting, by some other things, so that the will help the children to be relaxed here and mm. keep going? The local communities and even the government com uh, establishments and departments, we as the Directorate of Education, we give our full support for whatever they need in this school. And as I am a member of the Hebron Rehabilitation Committee, I also support these schools, not just about the other schools too, so that they, we can give them whatever they need because they need our support. The children here, they need to feel that they are the same as any child going to any school every, uh, anywhere in the world. So you need to give them your support. The local community, they will give them anything they need. And even the things they need for the activities is something more important than giving them food or giving them clothes. You need to give them something to, to, uh, to play play the drama, to paint, to, uh, to sing, to play the music. These things will help them strengthen their, uh, their personalities. They will feel that they are strong enough to fight even if they were uh, attacked by the settlers or by the Israeli uh, soldiers. Uh, if we um, have an idea to make a link between the school here and some other schools abroad, uh, do you think is it all right to to do it or yeah yeah twinship we have uh, we have a lot of programs about uh, such as this this program we have twinship with Ireland mm -hmm. and we have twinship with Germany mm -hmm. and we I think that we can work on t to do something with the with the Britain as you are here now you can do this for us and I've tried some some time I tried to do it with the French people they said that they're going to do something but not, uh, until now nothing was done but with the German people we have uh, we have the school built by the German government and they have the twinship with another school in uh, Germany not just here in Hebron we have in other uh, places also Great. Uh, I hope that uh, for the future we, we will keep uh, going to support uh, they are not uh, struggling here they are resistant uh, so, uh, inshallah, we will do our best and uh, thank you very much, Mrs. Samir. And uh, inshallah, we will keep in touch in the future. I hope to hear from you all the time and you're most welcome to come to my office. Inshallah. Okay? Thank you very much. You're most welcome.